Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. And in this video, I like to answer the question, why do we check the rear view mirror? Why do we have to check the top mirror before we change gear in a manual car? Why is that? So the question is, why do we check the rear view mirror or why do we have to check the mirror before changing gear? Why is that? That's the question I like to answer in this video. Let's start the lesson. Okay, so the question is, why is it that we need to check the rear view mirror or the top mirror before we change gear in a manual car? Why is that? Many learners, they ask this question, why is it we need to check the rear view mirror? And I like to answer this question in this video, like I said. Now, first of all, why is it we check the mirror anyway? Why? We say you check the rear view mirror before any change of speed. So whether you are reducing the speed or you are increasing the speed, we say you look at the top mirror. So before you reduce the speed or before you increase the speed, you check the mirror. Why is that? So let's understand that first. Now, first of all, before we slow, why is it we need to look at the mirror or check the mirror before we slow the car? So say you're driving along and you don't check the mirror. You're driving along and there is a problem and you brake. You brake hard to stop the car or to slow the car. And there is a vehicle behind you very close. What could happen? If you brake hard without checking and the car behind is very close, they could go back of you. Now, it's their fault for being staying too close to your car they shouldn't be staying too close but you could have avoided the accident if you check the mirror first so there is a problem you need to brake before you brake you check the mirror you would have seen the car behind very close if there is and there is a vehicle very close what do you think you could have done you could have covered the brake and you could have just touched the brake if you touch the brake what's going to happen at the back the red light is going to come on the brake light the car behind will know that you're braking. They're going to start to brake and then you start to brake harder. So in the beginning, you touch the brake to let them know that there is a car or there is a problem in front. I need to brake to slow the car or to stop the car. They get a signal. Remember, your brake light is also a signal telling the car behind what's happening. So if you touch it, light comes on, they start to slow and then you start to brake harder that way you are solving the problem or you are helping what the problem ahead is by slowing down also you are helping the car behind by telling them there is a problem over there if you don't check the mirror and you brake hard what could happen they're going to go back of you so now we know why we check the mirror before we slow the car so why do we check the mirror before we increase the speed why we know why before slowing down because we just talked about that. So why is it we need to look at the mirror before we increase the speed? Why is that? The reason is because just say you're driving along, okay, you're driving and you are increasing the speed. You don't look at the mirror before increase and there's a car behind about to overtake. Because you didn't check the mirror, you're not going to know if the car behind is overtaking. You're just going to increase. They're going to overtake. There's a car coming from the opposite. What could happen? Can you see the problem? If you check the mirror, you would have known the car behind is about to overtake. If the car is overtaking, are you going to give gas? No, you're going to wait until they go. And then what are you going to do? Then you're going to increase. If you don't check, you're not going to know that. So now we know why we look at the mirror before we increase the speed so that we know if there's somebody is about to overtake. Now let's talk about why we started the video by answering the question, why is it we need to check the mirror before we change gear? The reason is because, say you're driving along, okay? Say you're driving along, your feet is on the gas and you're driving. And now you want to change gear. How do you change gear in a manual car? You off gas and you put the clutch down and you change gear, right? Now off gas meaning you are reducing the speed a little bit for a few seconds. And because here it is change your speed, you are looking at the mirror. Okay, so off gas, clutch down, change gear. When you do that, what's happening? You are reducing the speed for a few seconds. And because of that, it's change your speed, isn't it? Remember, whether you are reducing or increasing, you check the mirror first to see what's happening behind, whether somebody behind is very close or somebody is about to overtake. Here, like I said, off gas, clutch down. What's happening? Change your speed. You are reducing maybe for a few seconds. And because of that, you look at the mirror first and then change gear. Okay? 
So I hope you understand why is because it's change of speed here happening. Off gas, clutch down, what's happening? Change of speed. And this is why you are looking at the mirror or you are changing or you are checking the mirror is because it's change of speed happening here. So I hope the video is answering the question, why do we check the mirror before we change gear? Why? Because change of speed is happening here before we change gear. And this is why we check the mirror. I hope the video helps. If you need extra help on learning to drive and to pass the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course, which gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. It has more than 30 videos on the course, giving everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. If you like it, you could always join the course. Also, if the channel is helping you, Please help the channel by subscribing. Many who are watching the channel, only 30% of you have subscribed. The rest you just watch, but you haven't subscribed yet. So I say the channel is yours. If the channel is helping you, please help the channel by subscribing. That way you are helping the channel so the channel could help you. Remember, this is your channel, like I said. And if the channel is helping you, help the channel by subscribing. That way, you are helping the channel to grow even higher. That way, you are motivating me to come back with better content, with better videos to help you to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. So if the channel is helping, please do subscribe. That way, you help the channel and the channel helps you. Thanks for watching. Please do make a comment what you think of the video and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.